Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I am Dee and this is the Quixby channel. And today I am coming to you from my home studio and I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video to the video that I did about setting up your Epson printer with preset settings. And the response video here is going to help people who didn't see what I was showing on the screen. What that probably means is that you do not have Epson drivers installed on your computer. Um, if you went through all of these steps and your screen looked completely different than my screen, that is like very likely what happened. If you buy a brand new Epson right out of the box, you should have gotten a CD inside of your box. All right, comes a little envelope. The CD is very important. It's very, it's very easy to overlook this. You might think that it's just a warranty or it's the user guide on CD, but it is not. It's very important that you install this on your computer because it will give you all the print settings that you need. Another reason you might not have the drivers is maybe you're working from a tablet or something like that and you don't have a CD slot. If you don't have a CD slot, you certainly can't install this. I'm going to show you how to install the drivers at the Epson.com website. Um, so that will also be included in this video. And finally, maybe you bought a used Epson printer. And if you bought it used, it's very likely the seller did not include the original driver um, CD. And that's okay too. So if, if that happened to you, you can also download the drivers at the Epson.com website. Um, I'm going to show you both. This CD is actually for the 3750 model. We did just uh, get that. We couldn't really resist the pricing. We got it refurbished on Epson.com. And so we logged in one day and saw that they were uh, drastically reducing the 3750. And so we did buy it because we do sublimate from various locations in people's homes and in our office. And it's just nice to have as many printers as you can possibly afford, especially if something's gonna go wrong. So if setting up the 3750 is something that you're interested in watching us do, make sure you subscribe. And we are gonna to get to that video sometime next week and you will get notified when we upload that video, okay? But for now, this video is about installing any driver, really, no matter what model you have. Uh, we're going to show you how to install from the CD and then we're going to take you to the Epson website and show you how to install the drivers for free directly from the website. If that is something that you're interested in learning, see you inside. All right, everybody. So let's assume that you don't want to even mess with the CD or you don't have the CD or you just are working from a device that does not have a CD slot. So in that case, we're going to go to Epson.com. Make sure you're at the real website. And there are a couple things you can do. You can either type your model right into the search bar or you can go to support and go under printers and kind of go the back around way. I just like to cut to the chase. Let's just say we have our model, the 2720. You type in whichever model you have, okay? So 2720, I have it in, and I can see over here, the 2720 is learn more or support, and we are going to look at the support. All you have to do is page down once you go to the support and you're going to see recommended for you drivers and utilities combo pack installer. This is exactly what you should download in order to see all the print settings that I saw. Okay, so it's nice and neat for you here. It's the first option, drivers and utility combo package installer. I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise doing everything separately, like doing the driver separately, doing the utility separately, I would just come over here and do the one that they recommend because this is actually what's on the CD. So you would click download. Now I might get an error message because I already have it installed. I don't know, but you can see down here in the corner of my laptop, it is 
um, downloading. It has downloaded and I'm going to go ahead and open the file. Norton checked it. It all looks good. Thank you, Norton. And it will ask you if you want, uh, if you want it to make changes to your device, you're going to have to say yes. And you can just see right here, this file contains the installers to obtain everything you need in order to use your Epson EchoTank 2720. Click OK to continue. All right. I am not going to click OK to continue because I already have it installed on this computer. But from here, you know that you're in the right place. It is telling you that this download will give you everything you need in order to use the model. That's all I would say is double check you've got the right model selected, click OK, and then go through the motions. So that's a, is about, about as easy as it gets. And now we will cover the CD option if in fact you do want to go ahead and use the CD and if you have the capability to use the CD. We'll get into that now. And oh my gosh, I am so sorry for the video you are about to watch. I taped that a long time ago using just my cell phone um, and I just rewatched it and man, it's really bouncy. Sorry, but you could just go to Epson.com and download the drivers for free. It's a lot easier actually. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Okay, so at this point we are actually going to install the drivers for the Epson printer. Um, the drivers come on a CD inside this little envelope. So as long as you have a CD um, slot in your tower or laptop, just open it up, put it in, make sure it snaps in there nicely, and close it up. And usually, you know, your laptop or your computer will recognize it. You just kind of got to wait for the box to pop up somewhere. Be ready. There it is. And I'm going to click it. And we are going to run the setup. Okay. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. A newer installer was found. Would you like to download it? Yes. So we're going to accept the um, end user agreement. If you want to read it, you can. If you want to print it, you probably can. Um, I'm just going to accept it. What are we going to install? We are definitely going to install the Epson drivers and the utilities. Um, easy photo scan, Epson's user guide link, Epson's customer research participation software. Um, I am not going to install that. I know how to find the um, user guide, but you know if you think you want the link to the user guide, go ahead um, and leave that checked. I, I just know how to get the user guide, so I don't really want it. And easy photo scan if there is something called easy photo scan i think i might want to see at least what that does and if it's not good i can probably go back into my settings and delete it so this is the software i'm going to allow epson to install it's the drivers and the easy photo scan if you want the user's link go ahead and click it and if you'd like to participate in epson research go ahead and check that box as well. And at this point it's probably just, you know, a matter of time. We're probably going to go through um, the setup process, the green bar process. Okay, well, hopefully one of those processes worked for you, whether you installed the drivers from the CD or if you were able to go to Epson.com and download the drivers right directly onto your computer. 
one of those should have worked for you. And now you can go back to that video with all the print setups and see exactly what I see on my screen when I print from the 2720. I hope you found this information useful. If so, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. And remember, if you're interested in learning and watching us unbox and install the Epson 3750, make sure to subscribe. We are actually going to set this printer up as a neon sublimation ink printer. So that's going to be exciting. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.